Very special guest joining us in studio right now, Dr. Jim Blessman, the founder and CEO of Blessman International is here. Thank you for coming over and visiting with us. My pleasure. It's wonderful to be here. Thank you. You, you have an incredible program. Why don't you tell everybody a little bit about it? We are missionaries in the country of South Africa. We've been there about 15 years and we have many, many Iowans come over and visit us. Uh, this year we surpassed 1,000 guests that have come and done service projects with us. And when people come, uh, they help us with our feeding program. Many people here have helped package the meals from the Heartland Rice Packets. Mm -hmm. uh, we're helping feed 20,000 children every week. So Iowans love to come and, and help distribute that food. Uh, we've set up a little farming program to make the feeding program sustainable. Uh, hy V's been a wonderful partner of ours. They help us drill wells. We've drilled 30 wells in the country of South Africa. Right now uh, we're looking at some video of the feeding program that you were just describing and seeing the difference that you truly are making in Iowans coming together to make a difference in South Africa. But you're the founder and CEO. Why did you think it was important to create Blessman International? I started by just going on a mission trip, like I'm encouraging your listeners to uh, go on, go to a, a foreign country, go on a mission trip and serve. And I just got a heart to help people, impoverished people, and travel around the world. And then we settled in South Africa. What wow. happened on that first mission trip that made you realize we need to do more? Well, just when you reach out and help people that can't help you back, uh, it just does something to your heart and your soul. And it's. I was doing like four mission trips a year while I was still practicing medicine really? here in Des Moines. And at one point it was just like, I need to be doing this full time. Right, and how long of a, of a period of time do you spend overseas? Uh, we usually spend about seven months out of 12 and it's in three separate uh, trips. Mm -hmm. We'll usually go over there for three months, come back here a couple months, go back for three months. And that's your routine. Now, what if somebody wants to go on a mission trip with you? Is that the requirement that you're asking for them to? Is the no. Period of time? Uh, How long of a period of time would they have to commit to? The typical trip is actually 12 days. We call it a two-week trip, but you leave here in Iowa on a Thursday and you come back a week and a half later on a Tuesday. Okay. And what are people going to experience? If I've never been to South Africa, which I never have, uh, and I'm going on this mission trip, what am I truly going to experience and be doing? Well, the fun things is you get to experience Africa. We get to do photo safaris and enjoy the ambience right. of a, a world that's entirely different than what we have here in Iowa. Mm -hmm. But the thing that really grabs people's hearts is when you help these beautiful black African children that are, are just impoverished, but they're children. And you see that even though they live in a shack with a dirt floor and no electricity, they still have joy in their heart and they have fun. And it's just such a blessing to be able to reach out and help them. It sounds like you're helping them, but at the same time you're teaching them. Oh, absolutely. Our feeding program, we started feeding them and to make it sustainable. We developed an agricultural program and now we're teaching them how to uh, do agriculture and set up gardens in their schools. Is that one of the biggest needs that you see down there or what are some of the other things that you're helping out with? Well, the main things we do is, is uh, you know, uh, fighting food insecurity. Uh, water is a huge need. Uh, Africa is much drier than it, it should be. The last three years, it's been incredibly dry. And so, so are you digging wells and things like that too? Or yep, with Iowa's help, especially High V, we've drilled thirty wells. Thirty of them. And we're also uh, replacing the terrible outhouses or toilets. Yeah, I want you to talk a little bit about this because I, I mentioned to Jackie earlier. I, I learned about this yesterday uh, about the outhouse situation that is down there. That is absolutely frightening. And uh, it it took at least one person that you mentioned's life, one child's life. Yes. Okay. Every year or two, a child, usually about five years old, will die falling through the seat of one of these toilets. Uh, yeah, we have some video here. We're gonna we're gonna see what it looks like, so you get an idea. Okay. And it, this is absolutely frightening, isn't it? It is. And so many Iowans have had a heart to uh, help with this situation. We're busy building very nice brick toilets that are waterless and they're safe. Guaranteed for 50 years. Yeah, this is the situation uh, that you came yeah. into. Uh, isn't that awful, Jackie? But just take a look at what happened here, and they, they talk a little bit about this uh, young boy here uh, that went missing is what the story talked about, isn't it? Yes. Yeah, he, he actually was going out to the toilet, fell through the toilet, and and several hours later uh, they were missing him, and they found him down in the pool. 
and that happens every couple of years throughout the country of South Africa and all over the impoverished world, not just South Africa. Uh, we're so blessed here in America to to have the the infrastructure that we have, and it's just missing uh, in countries where there is such incredible poverty. Yeah, yeah. we have some stuff that access to creating. clean water and just even using the facilities. We can take, uh, you know, we can forget how easy it is yeah. for us. Uh, yeah, to just we go take it for granted. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Um, so if you want to help in this matter, you are asking for people to go on this mission trip uh, with you. But in case people can't take two weeks off to go to South Africa, is there any way we can still help out what you're doing on a regular basis? Well, you can volunteer with Meals from the Heartland, help package those uh, meals. You can f help us financially. Uh, the way to connect with us is our website, blessmaninternational.org. You can see that on uh, the screen right now. We'd love to partner with anyone who has a heart for helping uh, these beautiful South African children. Well, Dr. Jim, you're doing incredible work. Uh, well, thank you for everything you've done for the past 15 years. We are incredibly blessed. Thank you for having me on your show today. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. If you would like to open up your heart and help, uh, you can volunteer, as you said, pack meals, which you can do here locally, mm -hmm. make a donation, or the ultimate opportunity, take a mission trip to South Africa. Thank, thank you, you so much. much. For being here. Thank you. All right.